Hey everyone, this is the third and final video in my Supernote Partner app series. In this video, I'm going to show you all sorts of ways you can use AI assistance with your Supernote notes. If you're already a Supernote user or thinking about getting one, don't forget to check out the first two videos in this series. I've linked them in the description below. The first and obvious application of AI to notes is to simply transcribe it. You can have ChatGPT read and apply OCR to your notes so that you can copy and paste it anywhere, like in OneNote, for example. And yes, apps like OneNote do have OCR also, but they're just not as good as AI since it deciphers some of the hard to read handwriting by applying context to it. And it also maintains the structure of the notes, not just simply spitting out text. Let's take a look at this example. I'm accessing my Supernote notes on my computer using the partner app. I'll just grab a screenshot using Windows Shift S and we'll go over to ChatGPT and paste it in there. And I'll just give it a, a little prompt. Turn the attached handwritten pages into clean type text using OCR plus AI correction. If you have trouble deciphering the handwritten text, use context to figure out the word. Also, maintain the formatting and structure of the notes. And let's send that off. As you can see, it did a great job of transcribing my handwritten notes and it maintained the bullets and indentation as well. If your notebook contains a lot of appointments and events, you can actually copy and paste it into ChatGPT and have it create an ICS file. It's a calendar file. So we will snip this page just as we have done before using Windows Shift and S. And I will copy, drop it into ChatGPT, and I'll give it a simple instruction. Hit enter. Okay, so it gave me the file. I'm going to click on the link to download the file. There it is. I will open up the folder. And I'll put this aside for a second. And I'll open my Google Calendar. And if you go to the cog for settings, there is an option to import and export. Click to select file. And I'll click the downloaded file. Hit open and hit import. And it tells me that it imported three events. Let's go back out to the calendar and let's look at our notes. So the first event or appointment was for September 3rd. So let's navigate to that date. And here it is, physical therapy appointment at 6 p.m. And it actually included the address. Um, it missed the one, I see. Um, so I could do a better job of writing that one more clearly. Maybe it recognize it as a, a bracket or something, but it has the suite number and the zip code, everything else matches up. And then the third appointment was dinner with friends on October 12. So let's go there. And then there it is, dinner with friends, 7 p.m. Carbone. It has the address. If I click on it, it actually captured the phone number as well. So as you can see, this is a really handy tool. You don't have to have all your appointments listed on a single page. You can have it sporadically throughout the notebook. Later, I'm going to show you actually how to export the entire notebook into PDF that you can drop into uh, ChatGPT or Gemini to transcribe the information, capture the appointment so that you can download the ICS file. Okay, so far we've just been snipping the handwritten content from a single page and you might be wondering, I don't need Supernote for this. I can just write on a regular notebook and take a picture and upload to ChatGPT. And you would be correct. You can do all this with handwritten notes on any page. But if you have many pages, then it becomes really tedious. With Supernote, you can export the entire notebook to a PDF and you can have AI process the PDF. Let me show you how. So here I have a notebook, just a couple of pages. I'll go to additional options and choose export and choose PDF here. 
and hit OK. And of course, choose where you want to save the file. Click on the open file path to open that folder. And we'll try dragging it into ChatGPT first. But something flashed on the screen here, and we see that it could not detect any text from the PDF, which is disappointing. I'm using ChatGPT 5. But no worries, we can try Gemini. I find that each tool has different strength for different applications. So in Gemini, it did accept the file without an error, so I'll give it a prompt. It doesn't have to be so detailed like this, but this is what I prefer. Let's send that off. And you can see that as per the instruction, it first transcribed the PDF, then extracted the action items and the to-do items into bullets. And I love the fact that it categorized these items. Now, if you want, you can copy and paste these items into your to-do app. As you can see, I have a pie chart here. It's a quick back of the napkin kind of doodle. And you know the drill by now, I'm going to snip it and paste it into ChatGPT. Then I'll give it a, a little prompt to create a chart that I can download as a PNG image file. If you give it a second, it creates this simple chart. And when I click to open the PNG, you can see that it's really high quality and I can copy and drop it into something like a PowerPoint presentation. But that was a simple chart and easy to create in Excel. Now let's try something that is a little more difficult to create on our own, like this waterfall chart. Now again, I'm going to snip it, paste it into ChatGPT, and I'm just going to give it a super simple prompt. Create a waterfall chart. And this one is taking a little longer, but after a few seconds, there's the chart that we can download. Click on it. And you can see this super professional waterfall chart to scale. Now we're going to do something a little more interesting. I want to create an infographic, but I don't want to spend too much time using tools like Photoshop or Canva. So I've just doodled something on my super note page. I'm going to copy it and paste it into ChatGPT and give it a prompt to create the infographic. And I'm going to go ahead and send that off. This does take a little while uh, for me. I think it took over a minute for the images to generate. I will fast forward it here. But you can see the end result. It really took my drawings and made it into something that's much more refined. And it only took like a minute to create. So there you have it. These are some of the ways in which I use AI to bring my super note notes to life. Tools like ChatGPT and Google Gemini really do remove many of the limitations of using handwritten notes. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have other creative ways in which you use AI to process your handwritten notes, drop them in the comments below. Thanks.